hardly believe it's you. The one fated to save my people. Oh, it's you! Valka said we would meet, but I can hardly believe the great Eivor is fated to save my little Isle of Skye. Who are you? A hat of yourself, as always, Edith. Eivor, Edith is an old friend and a seer. She contacted me for advice. Her people are plagued by nightmares to the point of madness. I wasn't aware people settled on the Isle of Skye. There are small settlements, but it is a place of passage for many, making it perfect for dreams to wreak havoc. Until now, I've mostly been deciphering if my cousin's feasting on feathers in her dreams means she should marry a farmer or a baker. <laughs> You've lost me again. Edith needs your help. And it's not just her people being affected. As someone deeply in tune with the spirit realm, I have also begun to lose sleep. I fear it may spread to our settlement soon. I will investigate, but it is not as if I have experience chasing away bad dreams. There is more. You're not going to like this, Eivor. But I believe somehow Ranvi is involved. Perhaps even responsible. Valka, you know I trust your wisdom, but Randvi is my friend. How could she threaten a settlement like this? Ever since the nightmare started here, I began asking the spirits for clarity, and the vision came to me. Though it was cloudy, I know what I saw. You will find Randvi amidst a scene of death on the Isle of Skye. The two of you will fight before you are forced to part ways forever. That just can't be true. Believing is your choice. The only way to find the truth and stop the nightmares from spreading is if you go to the Isle of Skye. I must tend to my duties, but Edith can take you when you are ready. So, are you ready? My people can't go without sleep any longer. I'll find out what's plaguing your people. Whatever or whomever it may be. Here we are, the Isle of Skye. Beautiful, isn't it? Any idea why I should go first? Investigate Kilter Aglan first. It's where complaints of nightmares began. My hut is there too, if you need to find me.
Now you're all right. I'm here too. An eagle. An eagle will bring ruin to us all. I saw it in a dream. I won't get much from him. The nightmares certainly seem bad here. On board? Is everything all right? You seem... Find the warrior woman with the braid. She is our undoing. Stealing our dreams. A warrior with a braid? That can't be Renvy. Where is she? At a church, northwest of town. That's all I saw in my dreams. Find her, and please... <laughs> Volker was right. Ranvi! No. Cassandra. And you are? Your opponent. This Randvi good with an axe? She is. Much better than you. Ah, I prefer a spear. <laughs> you favor other weapons too. Where'd you get that blade? Talk too much! Uh. 
Looks like there are some things to talk about. Fine. If we must. So, opponent, do you have a name? Eivor. I take it you're one of the hidden ones. <laughs> Not exactly. But I admire their work. If you're not going to talk straight, let's go back to fighting. I'm not a hidden one, but I have friends that are. And often my goals align with theirs. I assume the same is true for you. While I appreciate their gifts, I'm not sure I trust fighters so cloaked in secrecy. I prefer more direct methods of battle. <laughs> Clearly. You haven't told me why you're here, after coming all the way from... where? I've traveled so much, it's been a long time since I've been from somewhere. But the Greek world was my home, long ago. I came here looking for an ancient artifact that's causing this island a great deal of trouble. You mean the nightmares? A seer told me that the person I'd find amidst death on this island was causing them. The same one that mistook me for someone named Randvi? Maybe your seer is having an off day. You're telling me you're not responsible for all these bodies? I watched these people tear each other apart out of madness and lack of sleep. It's the artifact I'm looking for causing all this. Normally, I'd be quick to track it down, but this fog is making things... difficult. Almost impossible. <laughs> if you're so easily blocked by a curse, how do you expect to deal with the realm of spirits and dreams? A curse? Huh. You know the secrets of this land well, then. I... Do you hear something? No, no. Listen. Something tells me we should work together. And what exactly is telling you that? The obvious. You want to stop the nightmares, and I want the artifact causing them. Help me get rid of this fog so we can find it. After such a strange encounter, I'm really meant to believe you're not causing the nightmares. I swear to you, I am here to stop them. We can work together. For now. Of course. Help me with this. Here. You're quite strong. You should know. I had you cornered in that fight just moments ago. And an even stronger ego to match. Not surprising. What an interesting church. In all my travels, I've never seen one quite like this. Are you here to see the sights or get rid of this fog? I have to take in what I can. It's not as if I plan to stay long.
worse. The curse is fading. It'll be much easier to find the artifact now. Glad I let you tag along to help. I did most of the work. You're getting on my nerves, you know. These close quarters probably aren't helping. These close quarters probably aren't helping. Let's find a way out. from lack of sleep. Just like the men I saw tearing one another apart. Better take them out before they take us down then. It really seemed like someone was talking directly to you in the fight. The artifact I'm seeking does cause strange things to occur. But I should track it more easily now that the fog is gone. As if a foreigner could search these hills. Hmm. Ready to commit to being my guide? I didn't say that. If I'm going to help, I need more information, like what exactly is this artifact you're seeking. The less you know about it, the better. The better for you, you mean? You want me to trust you, no? The artifact is an object of great power, left here by old gods. Left on this island, it could wreak havoc on the world. Why aren't we under whatever spell or curse this artifact seems to have placed over everyone else? It is difficult to explain, but artifacts like this can affect people differently. Many are corrupted by them. Perhaps we are of a similar... strength. But even if we're not having nightmares, we should still be wary of its power. If this artifact is ancient and was left here who knows how long ago, why is it suddenly causing problems now? Loki got bored? So serious. Truthfully, I'm not sure. These artifacts can be activated. Maybe someone tampered with it. After all, many are drawn to its powers. It tempts them. How exactly are you planning to track it down? Leave that to me. Finding these artifacts has been my calling for some time now. I've developed a knack for tracking them down. With the aura gone, it should be even easier to find. Let's not waste time. What's our next move? Now that this fog is gone, I should be able to better track the artifact's location. Before that, though, I'm going to take another look around the church. See what I can learn of these foreign lands. Meet me in Topta? It'll take more than studying one church to become familiar with this island. But fine. We'll meet again soon. <laughs> Took you long enough. I was beginning to think all this talk of gods and nightmares might have scared you off. I said I would come. So, great artifact hunter. Did you track it down as easily as you said you would? Not quite. But after studying this island, I found our next step. I'll lead you to it, if you're ready. On to this next step. This shared expedition is starting to feel tedious. Spoken as if finding an ancient artifact long hidden away was supposed to be simple. I take it you've been hunting these artifacts for a long time now. <laughs> yes, quite some time. What led you to this? Strangely enough, a vacation gone horribly wrong. Now it has become a destiny of sorts. What exactly are we going to do with this artifact once we find it? I will take it far away from this island for safekeeping. To a place where no one can maliciously wield its power. Power? 
So it's a weapon of some kind. In the wrong hands, it is. The kind of weapon that should never be used. <sighs> a weapon that shouldn't be used. That sounds like a sentiment spoken by someone too weak to wield its power. It might sound strange to you, but trust me. Its power is not to be taken lightly. The survival of your world depends on that. Somehow, this stone formation will bring us closer to the artifact. I think it's a riddle of some kind. Well, of course it is. Since you're clearly an expert at playing with rocks, get to solving it then. it? There's nothing. Ah. Uh. It looks like the Isle of Skye, but there are several markings on it. <gasps> could it? No, it couldn't be... a map? I didn't feel the need to state the obvious. So, what are the markings? There are several triangles, and one X, not too far from here. What are we waiting for? X marks the spot. So, do you just spend your days attacking strange women in graveyards, or do you have other duties? I take care of my people. We have a settlement, Ravensthorpe. <sighs> that must be nice. I've traveled alone for what feels like a lifetime now. You speak as if. How old are you, exactly? <laughs> Older than you'd think. But everyone tells me I have a young face. That's a very pretty bird flying above you. Her name is Sunan. I had a bird once. A long time ago. An eagle named Icaros. I prefer ravens. Eagles, sir, too. Godly? Gaudy. <laughs> You're quiet. Not thinking of throwing another axe at my head, are you? No. I'm just not compelled to fill silence like you are. Good. That fight took a lot out of me. Not sure I'm ready for a second. You kept me on my toes as well. What's that? A compliment? nothing here. Stand right here. Why? <sighs> Can't you trust me? Or at least pretend to, so this goes faster? <sighs> Fine. <sighs> How did you know? Lots of practice. Another ambush! They must be drawn to the temple. They're very persistent. <laughs> <laughs> the last is 
Then I need this after the day. Speaking your language. Little less talking, more fighting. Wait on who gets the kill? I've seen this before. We'll need shards, keys, to place on this pedestal. That should open... No. We need to talk. Those people that attacked us, were they speaking your language? I already told you. The artifact has made them go mad. Cassandra! Eivor, when are you going to see that I'm here to help? No, you're lying. I'm sure of it. Have I been anything but helpful to you since I got here? In the first ambush, those men seemed to know you. Now they're speaking your language. You can't take me for such a fool. <sighs> There's a chance that my arrival on the Isle of Sky might be what activated the artifact's powers. But it's not certain. And even if it's true, that's all the more reason for me to remove it. No! That's all the more reason for you to leave, so I can remove it myself. You've done enough! I can't trust you, Cassandra. You have no idea what you'd be dealing with! You need my help! I know what I must do from here. And if those men are after you, it'll be even easier for me to continue by myself. Eivor, please! The powers of this artifact are unlike anything you've seen! <laughs> Nothing is too powerful for me. Besides, I'm sure I'll make better use of this weapon than you. God, fine! I've had enough of you anyway. You're impossible! You're too brash, Eivor! And it will undo you! I still need to find all the shots before I can open the door. Better get going.
so I can sacrifice you to the fairies. You're asking if you can kill me? Since the nightmare started, the fairies have whispered in my ear, promising power if I find sacrifices for them. They've even led me to one of their treasures for my hard work. The prettiest shard. So please, into the pool now. Fairies are tricky creatures. Are you sure that shard isn't muddling your mind? I haven't quite felt like myself lately. You could be onto something. <gasps> Take this shard far away from me, please.
More coming. I had this under control. Under control? Looks like you were about to get skewered. I can defend myself. You didn't need to run. At midday, you missed me. Let me embrace that. You should have come. I know why Tetris makes things complicated. These people are telling me because of you! I know! I know! Can we talk about this once they're dead? I should have been honest about my presence activating the artifact. I'm sorry. And I know me being here makes reaching the artifact harder. Harder? No one would be trying to kill me if you weren't here right now. I know. Trust me. You will need my help once we reach the artifact. These people are nothing compared to its power. I'm not getting rid of you, am I? Don't worry. I'll grow on you. <sighs> I've seen mechanisms like this before. I'll get the light working. You direct the beams to those... I've seen mechanisms like this before. I'll get the light working. You direct the beams to those plates near the door. I can move these, I see. to go. Finally. Those pots and weapons are so strange. They're from my land. What are they doing here? It's an illusion caused by the artifact. Yeah, and you being near it. That mask looks unique. I've torn many of those masks from the faces of cultists. Even knowing their illusions, to see all these things from my... my... Home? I don't have a home. Not anymore. That 
All that trouble for this. You keep it. <laughs> Admit it. We make a good team. Ah, you're not so bad to work with, after all. Terrible at following orders, though. <laughs> Give me a little credit. It's my first time working with another person in... I don't know how many years. That must get lonely. It does, from time to time. But it's the path I'm meant to walk. Anyway, I should get going. It's not good for me to stay in one place long. Thank you for your help. Truly. Wait. The Norse celebrate their victories, and since in the end you did help, why not come out for a drink with me? I don't know about that. It's not really good for me to be seen by too many people. If everyone drinks enough, no one will ever know you were here. All right. What can it hurt? Hopefully you're ahead tomorrow morning if we have a great time. Meet you at the Longhouse in Kildoraklan. See you there. You are? Ready for that drink? Let's head inside. What is it? There are a lot of people. I haven't been to a party in some time. I guess I'm Nervous. It's not as though you're going in there alone. I'll be with you. <laughs> I guess you're right. Let's go inside. Ready for a drink? What about you? Ah. <laughs> hmm. I've always wanted to try meat.
You can really hold your meat. Now, if we had been drinking wine, I would have won. Wine? <laughs> That's child's play. Not if it's from Marcos's vineyard. That swill could build paint from a vase. Marcos? Who's Marcos? An old friend that made truly terrible wine. <laughs> Malaga. <laughs> Malaga. You really are drunk. Now you're just spouting nonsense. <laughs> no. No, it's a Greek swear word. It's Malaka. 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 Malaka! Malaka! <laughs> That's it! You got it! Now, let me teach the you... The bride and the groom are here! <laughs> are we crashing a wedding? It was arrogant to assume these people were here to celebrate us saving their asses. Come. Let's join in their revelry. <laughs> oh, aren't you the heroes who saved the island and our wedding? I did a little more than she did. But yes. We would love it if you both gave a toast at our wedding. We hardly know you. What would we say? But your exploits have made our wedding a day to remember. Please, regale us with your tale. I could be up for that. What about you, Eivor? All right. But if we're going to do this together, Cassandra, let's make it interesting. What do you suggest? A flighting competition, of course. Ah. Never tried it myself. I should warn you, though, I've battled wits with great philosophers. Stop boasting and prove yourself. <laughs> my day began the strangest way. An axe thrown at my head, intending to slay. There stood Eivor, hot-headed and brash. <laughs> to see us now, you'd not believe our clash. <sighs> he took an ambush or two and one dusty old temple for Eivor to see that I could be helpful. But somehow I've melted her cold Norse heart. It'll sadden me to see my new friend part. <laughs> Eivor did the heavy lifting, left the tracking job to I. In the end, we triumphed, chasing the nightmares far from sky. And to the bride and groom on this historic day. Hopefully tonight you'll finally sleep okay. <sighs> Bit of a lackluster note to end on. <laughs> hey. oh, that was wonderful. You've really made this a night to remember. It's been a while since I've been the center of attention. How did it feel? <laughs> Strangely 
familiar. I'm glad you invited me here tonight. It was nothing. No, really. Thank you. I needed this. More than I knew. <laughs> what do you say we make that bride's day and get rid of that asshole? Don't you mean that Malacca? <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> You. you saved my wedding. We actually saved it twice. <laughs> All in a day's work. <laughs> Edith, did you come for the wedding? I couldn't miss it. My cousin is the bride. And of course, I should thank you. Mm. Clearly, you were able to help my people. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here celebrating. <laughs> I can't take all the credit. I had some help. True. Valka put you on this path after all. Was she right, by the way? Did you part ways with that girl? Randvi, as she foresaw? No. Ranvi was never on the Isle of Skye. Ah, well, even Valkar makes mistakes. Still, it's good you didn't need to say goodbye to a friend. What an unforgettable night. <laughs> 